Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, some of the most exciting days in our hobby are the mail days. So the days when the, you have a package in the post for you. Um, some of these are not really interesting or are very small. They just are a couple of components, so not really noteworthy to share on the channel here. But this one actually is quite interesting, uh, quite fun. A couple of weeks ago I noticed on eBay a um, lot of transistors for sale, um, mostly germanium soviet transistors. Um, and I put in an offer um, and the offer was accepted and uh, it was shipped, it took a while to get here, it was shipped from Germany, but um, it arrived. I picked it up on the post yesterday um, and we're ready to open up the, the package. Uh, as you see, I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm very curious to how it will look. Um, the weight, I weight the package, it's almost a kilogram, so um, there's going to be a lot in there. Um, there are some, probably a couple of heat sinks in there, which also might um, have the most weight to them. Um, yeah, so let's just... Without further ado, let's just have a look what's inside. Um, obviously it was also still wrapped in some packing paper, which I already removed. And it's a portable hard drive, or a portable <laughs> DVD drive. Yeah, um, let's see where we can open this up here, probably. Yeah. Okay. So I, I even get uh, the packaging for the, the DVD drive included. Wow, look at that. That's it. Put these things back. Look at that. <laughs> oh wow. This is really a really cool sight. <laughs> There's still one stuck in there. Oh wow. This so now this is what a kilo of transistors looks like. Um, I think most of these are germaniums, um, most of these are soviets as well. Um, I see a couple of crystals in here, a um, couple of heat sinks, but most of them are uh, germanium transistors I think. Mm, some of them are look definitely used, see, uh, um, like these ones for example, see they are definitely used, but some of them they do look New old stock, see with these long legs. Um, yeah, ooh, I've got a capacitor as well. <laughs> no, um, yeah, this is gonna be quite a bit of work to sort through these, I think. Um, how I'm gonna do it, hmm. not sure yet. I see a lot of MP series. I see, spot some GT series here, see, this, so these are GTs, or yeah, this is a GT transistor. Um, now the reason why I bought this is because it's always nice, I think, to have such a stock uh, at hand. Um, and I have a, a Selena, um, a Kiev Selena B212, I think, laying around, which needs to be restored. and. Yeah, most of the transistors that are in there will be in this pile somewhere, so I think I should be able to, yeah, that should be able to be useful for when restoring that radio. Um, and often also these germaniums, these Soviet germaniums, they are sometimes um, interesting equivalents for Western transistors, so yeah, you can, at least for for debugging or troubleshooting, you can I then have uh, quite some germaniums on hand um, to swap out and do some experimentation. And I also have a friend who is building guitar pedals, so he is also interested in uh, some of these. 
Um, now the first thing that I will do is I will start organizing these and counting and seeing how much we have of what. <laughs> um, so that's going to be a challenge. Maybe the best thing to do is first um, take, um, organize them first by series. So see, these are uh, MP transistors. So you can see that's a Cyrillic for MP. Um, most of these are MP or the large majority are MP. And then you have, like I said, the GT series. We'll see. Um, I don't know if it focuses. Yeah, these are GT. Um, so what I'm going to do first is categorize them by series. So there are a couple of different series in here. I'm going to first sort them by series and then per series we can maybe start sorting by package type or actual type number um, depending on how much differences we have here. Um, see there are also a couple of western ones. This is an AC187K. Um, but La yeah, I think the large majority here are going to be Soviets. Um, so I think I have quite a bit of work to do here uh, and I'll get back to the video when I have sorted it out a bit better. Okay, so the first stage of sorting has been done. And what do I have here? First of all, I have dirty fingers. <laughs> Um, and secondly, I have the 24 hours of Le Mans on my uh, um, tablet, which I'm following and which will finish in half an hour. But okay, for the transistors, um, I decided to sort them first by category or type. Um, so the big pile here, that's the MP series, and that's by far the largest pile uh, in the bunch. Um, then we have here uh, the P series. Uh, KT series, um, this is MGT, this is uh, SF, I think, yeah, SF, this is the GT, also quite significant, I think those, this comes in second, close with the KT series, um, this is, um, I can't remember, uh, it's the 2Y, a couple of those, these are all AC type transistors, um, most of them are AC125, we have a couple of AF ones. Um, there in the back, this is just hardware like plastics and heat sinks, which were loose. A couple of ones in a power package, still need to check what these are. Um, these are IT or 1T, I don't know, I have to check. This That's everything which is in a plastic package, so most of these will probably be like um, silicon devices. Um, here are a couple of phototransistors or diodes. Um, then quite a bit of crystals, um, some bulbs, um, yeah, some capacitors and resistors and a diode. Those will be for the um, for the recycle bin. Um, these I believe are filters. And then what did I miss? Oh, this pile here is GC series, I think, or 6C. I think it's GC or 6C, anyway, um, and this is um, all the rest, so the remaining stuff, um, either like unmarked transistors, which I cannot identify, or um, yeah, things that I still need to sort through, there are, yeah, those I will go to the side, because those are like series which have only one or two elements, or um, yeah, one or two transistors in the series, so that's a bit of like varia or assorted. Okay, so what's next? I'm gonna pick one of the series um, and gonna break that down into the different types of transistors and then put them away in plastic bags or label them. I still have to figure out how I am going to sort these. But uh, maybe we can start with the GT series over there. Okay, a quick heads up here. I just sorted the MP series into its different types. I've already done the GT and the KT series. And at the meantime, I'm watching Radio Cruncher's live stream. So, um, because this work is kind of boring <laughs> and it's nice to have something to follow at the same time. Now, these, uh, these ones here, the KT series, I've sorted them in an uh, organizer box. These are silicons because um, the K um, is an abbreviation of the 
word silicon uh, or uh, silicium in, in Russian. And the GT series, so, they, so KT stands for um, silicon transistor. The T is transistor, the K is silicon. And uh, these are the GT series. And these are also still GT, but there are too much of this type. This is GT, GT402. And there were too much of this type to fit in there. Um, but really, the star of the show is the MP series. So I've got here MP10, 13, uh, 14, 15, um, 20, 25, 26. A whole bunch of uh, MP26s. Um, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, one um, lonely uh, MP104, 106, one lonely MP115, and then a whole bunch of MP116. So, um, related to the MP series, I think I'm good. <laughs> Especially the MP25s, I mean, and most of these are still old, new old stock, so I think somebody bought a bunch of MP. 26s, uh, it's MP26, sorry, these are the MP25s. See, they are all new old stock. So, um, somebody bought a bunch of these uh, and they ended up in this collection. Um, but then if you look at another type, like here the MP41s, for example, they are all recycled. So, it's clear that this collection is coming from some repair guy who was um, repairing Soviet radios and um yeah recycled some transistors and bought in a stock of some other types like this mp26 here the mp25 is also almost all new old stock here the mp what is it 37 as well so it's a bit of a mix but uh, yeah it's nice to have these in stock um how valuable are these? Well, the answer is not really valuable because they are still quite easily obtainable. You can buy a box of 50 for maybe, I don't know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, not sure, um, online, plus shipping, obviously. So I think I did a rather good deal, but I'm not sure what I'm going to use about uh, these transistors in the in the future. The goal was anyway to have a sort of variety in stock so that I always have something to grab when I'm troubleshooting. So I'm going to gonna put these in bags because they won't fit in, a, in an organizer, especially like these big piles. Um, and then we're going to continue on to the next series i have put the, these ones in bags as well they are still to do for organization so yeah it's a lot of work but um really you need to organize them otherwise this a collection like this is completely useless it's starting to get crowded here um, i've finished the mp series the psf and sfts the gt and the kt um, and all the rest is still to do. Um, I think, now look how I've done these. So I've just made a list of uh, for all the different types and how many I have of each. See the MP26, uh, there I have 59. So uh, yeah, that's how I did them. And then I put all of them in separate bags. Uh, I think that's maybe better than I'm not wasting uh, my component trays because yeah i won't need these every day i just might need these once every couple of months and then it doesn't really matter if i have to search a bit through the different bags i labeled all the bags with the types that are in there so it should still be quite okay to find one um, and then i have an index here in the um in the box and then this one here is the p series sf and sft um, there I still have quite a bit of room free for um, other transistors. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same as these boxes for the other two series that I have here. And then for the, the ones which have not yet been organized. And once I've done all of that, um, I think I can post an update uh, in a second video. And then maybe it's also interesting to go a bit further into detail on these 
transistors and um, maybe do a sort of uh, overview of all the different series, what they are. Um, yeah, are they Western? Are they Soviet? Um, what types of transistors are they? Just to get a yeah, sort of um, tutorial on vintage transistor types. Um, that might be interesting. Not sure yet. Um, yeah, okay, so that's that. Um, I think I still have quite a bit of work with these. Um, and um, when I'm finished, I'll post an update. So if you have been watching the video, thanks a lot. Um, if you like my content, if you want to see the follow-up of my uh, organization of this collection, um, subscribe. Um, and if you like the video, push like. That always helps. So I'd like to thank you for watching and take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.